hi there, we are traveling. <laughs> I did not know that a day will come like this, that I will be extremely excited because I am traveling. <laughs> So can you guess where we are going to? The clue is in the thumbnail. So if you can guess, go ahead and guess. And yeah, we are traveling. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Glory, the comforter storyteller. If this is your first time on my channel, where have you been? I've been waiting for you. <laughs> All right, if this is your first time on my channel, you're welcome. I'm so grateful that you are here. We have new subscribers and I'm very, very happy. People share my videos so that we can get 1,000 subscribers and I'll share for four for everybody. <laughs> and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to the channel. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for sharing them. Thank you for leaving a comment, all right, for everyone that is here right now. Before you go further, please click the like button, all right? Please click it. Copy the link and share it, share it on your statuses. So that others can come in contact with my channel and know how amazing I am. So this is a travel vlog. I don't want to talk too much. It's not a sit-down video. So we are traveling. <laughs> I cannot even imagine my mom of blessed memory if she hears the way I'm excited about a trip. She will be like, mm, "What God cannot do does not really exist," because. Growing up, I used to have this travel phobia. Of course, I didn't know this was what it was called, fear of traveling. So I was very, very afraid of living wherever I am. W once I'm comfortable in a place, I don't like to make movements because I'm always afraid of whatever it is that is going to happen and nothing is going to happen. All right. <laughs> so I'm always very, very scared. She used to have to drag me. If we have a family function, sometimes I would decline going. I remember a wedding of a very dear sister of mine. We were supposed to travel outside on those states then. I said I was not going to go and I did not go because I was afraid. Every other person went. Come to think of it, was I thinking that something bad would happen to every other person while I'm escaping? I don't know. I don't. It's giving fear. <laughs> All right. But look at me now. I'm very, very excited about the trip. Um, this trip for me is a self-care trip. I'm actually going to breathe out Lagos. All right. To do some other things. But then I needed this time to take off business. To take. Um, by the way, my business will be a year this March. And I'm very excited. Like, I'm very happy. God has been so faithful. Like, starting a business in Lagos and sustaining it by God's message for one year. God has been so good. I mean, I will share that in another vlog. Um, but then um, I needed this one week away so that I could breathe out, ventilate, and then come back to Lagos to come and pra, 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 pra. Bass boost in Lagos. All right. So, yeah, we are traveling. And I mentioned where we are going. If I've mentioned it earlier, I'll cut it out. <laughs> so, we are traveling. You can guess where we are going in the comment section. Before you continue watching, please guess, leave a comment about where you think we are going. So, I used to be travel phobic. And I don't know, I just discovered that it had fizzled out. One of the things that kind of highlight that helped me with that travel phobia is getting to know God more. As you increase in the knowledge of God, one thing I realized over time in my life is that your fears will fizzle out, right? The things you used to be afraid of, the future, traveling, is that anything you used to be afraid of, as you interact with God, goodness will come, right? Those fears will fizzle out. The Bible tells us that perfect love casts out every form of fear. So as you are growing deeper in your love for God and in God's love for you, you find out that fear of the unknown, fear of the future, fear of traveling, fear of whatever, <laughs> it begins to fizzle out. Even fear of heights, I'm telling you, because God made nature, right? All right. So as you interact with him, those things will begin to fizzle out. So I think that's what happened to me because those times when I used to go to the university, I realized I still had that fear. But as time went on, when I went for my NYC, I gave my life to Christ. As I began to know God more, I became bold. <laughs> Look, I'm now very excited about the trip. All right? Yeah, so that's it about being travel phobic. Also, this is like my third time of traveling to where I'm going. Yes, yeah. This is my third time. The very first time, the experience was not good at all. It was a road trip, and our driver missed the way we traveled like two hours in the wrong direction before we were redirected back to the place where we were moving from and then from that place we we're now coming home like it was a rough journey all right we went for a function there then the second time i went the journey was quite good i went by flight and you should be guessing the place now all right okay there are many airports in nigeria 
So <laughs> let's see if you can guess. So I went by flight, and because I that was my first time in a flight, it was it was somehow there was a little girl sitting beside me, and she was asking me, "Auntie, are you scared? Why will I be scared? Why?" <laughs> but I was a little afraid. It was my first time flying. And so I was a little afraid, but that's it about it. When we landed, I was fine. When I was coming back, the flight was at night. So the fear was still a little, but it had fizzled out. I don't know what the experience would be this time. I trust God that it would be good. Um, I wouldn't be afraid of anything. I don't know if my seat is beside the window. If it's beside the window, I'll be seeing things. I'll be seeing the wings flapping. All right, so um, flight teaches me a lot of things. Flying teaches me a lot of things. At least that first time taught me so much about trust, about about letting it all go. <laughs> it's not funny. Allowing somebody to drive you or allowing the machinery to drive you, whichever, all right? So I've dealt with the travel phobia and yeah, this is my third time of going. So if you have guessed where we are going, I'm going to be revealing it now as I begin to prep. I'm going to pack my bags now. Today is Wednesday, actually. The flight is for Friday. Are you like me? Do you pack like five days before, three days before, or, or you wait until one hour before the flight. It's an afternoon flight. I don't even know when I will get to the airport. I just know. I will get there. All right. So we are going to five letter word. State with five letter words. Yes, yes, yes. Could it be Lagos? Are we, are we going from Lagos to Lagos? All right, fam, we're going to Abuja. <laughs> we're going to Abuja, and I'll take you through the trip. I intend to brief like i said ventilate i intend to go out enjoy the atmosphere visit places so if you're in abuja and you are seeing this video probably i am still in abuja by the time you have seen this video so send me a message so that you can take me places all right because okay i have my host knows the place to an extent and then i have friends in abuja i informed them that i was coming so i'm looking forward to experiencing abuja within this one week so yeah Let's go ahead to pack now, pack my things. I have a big box that I intend to use, but then I'm thinking of using a smaller one because that one is too big. What is the big deal? What are we here? Are we going, are we, are we going for one month? Before people think that I'm just fine. <laughs> All right, so let's see if I'll use the big or the small one, then I'll pack every other thing. Um, then I'll carry a simple handbag. I've picked out the dress I'm going to wear. Yes, I'm like that. I can pack three weeks before. <laughs> This morning, and funny enough, this morning I woke up not having the energy to pack. But look at me right now. Let's go and pack. I was trying to prep content for the week because when I'm in Abuja, I may not be able to get the same background. I don't even know why the obsession with the um, a background. So I was trying to prep content for the week home, and I spoke for 16 solid minutes and I discovered that only for me to want to edit, I moved it to CapCut so that I can edit the video. Why is my ear itching? I'm so... I don't know, I'm not angry, I'm not, I'm just weak. That's the word. Only for me to move it to CapCut and discover that this mic had not been on. Like the mic was, it was on when I started using it. Probably battery run out, ran out and it was off. Fam, 16 solid minutes of content. 
16 solid minutes of talking passionately because we don't fake anything here. You say it as it is, 16 minutes. I don't know what to do. <sighs> I'm not angry. I'm not, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what to do. So I think we'll call it a wrap here. I wanted to record it before Abuja. Probably next week, all we will do is vlogs on the channel. I guess that's what we'll do. Bye. It's Friday morning and I'm about to go and freshen up for my flight. Alright, so we have Chef Olive in the kitchen. <laughs> the anointed woman of God is making stew. <laughs> tell us, tell us. <laughs> I don't know what to do. She has made rice. We are making stew. So she's about to make chicken stew. So that I will not forget the taste of home food and when I, I go. Come back <laughs> because she's already preparing me. Somebody should help me. I'm calling out for help. Oh. She's learning. Learn. Think about what to cook. That's the hardest part. <laughs> Be thinking a week. So I can't wait to see what she whips out. Let's go. My bags are packed and. Do you think this is too much for a one week trip? <laughs> so my bags are packed and that's my mic, that's my son, glasses. Hi guys, food is ready. Maybe I'll finish cooking. I'll cook. Bag and I'll see you inside the plane. Bye. Mm, I look good. <laughs> okay, I hope I'm able to film when I get to the airport. I hope I'm not shy. All right. <laughs> oh, my managing director, mm -hmm. P. <laughs> <laughs> I can see what you are doing on your phone. Oh, really? Yes, you have zoomed it. Please <laughs> say hi, hi guys. <laughs> Because of your YouTube, so I'm taking you this time. Thank you. <laughs> She's very scared. <laughs> we climbed the escalator. <laughs> I hate it with passion. But I had to. And I did. Okay, so hi guys. I checked in too early. Not too early, Sha, but early. So I've checked in and I'm waiting for 2 o'clock. The flight is for 3. So I'm waiting for 2 p.m. or 2.30 before I go down to the boarding area. So yeah, we are at this Indomie cafe. 
I've only been to the international part of MM, Britain and Mohammed Airport. This is my first time in this. Okay, no, not the first time. First time in a long time in this local side, and it's so good. It looks even more beautiful than the international area, sincerely. Um, yeah. <laughs> Look at somebody behind you. <laughs> I won't do it. Okay, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. 